Hi everyone, you're all welcome to this demonstration session. Today we are going to talk about uh, the GET API of the SIF. We are going to see how we can uh, invoke this operation in the Java. So in the earlier classes I have discussed how we can do that using SOAP tool and SOAP tool is quite easy I would say. Java is also easy, it's not difficult but let's see, let's concentrate on the Java part. Let's try to see how you can uh, invoke a particular uh, request in Java. To do that you have to write a program so first of all you need an Eclipse client you can just download this client this is nothing but to see this this is um, Eclipse client for Eclipse Java for web developers once you do that then just you can import the uh, import the library imp import this uh, class from the Informatica sample or you can just create a new class and then all in all the important thing here is just the libraries the libraries you need, you must have configured properly for example if you see here uh, I have <clears throat> I have all these libraries you can see that okay so you just need to add the libraries you can find these libraries in here okay in in this uh, you can find this in the lib path of the server the libraries you must have added this so once you have added this then you are ready otherwise uh, you cannot when you compile it you will get a lot of uh, errors and all that so once you do that then this is the program what we have written so this is just a basic uh, it's the package name and these are just we are importing certain things and then this is the uh, this is the main class public public class and then uh, the main function so or you can say the main method that we have here of the Java and we are just initializing and then calling it and then just see here this is the run request and this is where we initializing the SIP client see remember SIP client is the most important class the reason is using this class only you are going to send the request to Informatica MDM and then finally the request here so get request request and you're just initializing the request and the record key and then you're just setting the row ID object here and then you're just setting the package here that's what you're doing here and then once that is done then this is just I'm just sending that I'm just firing the query when you understand right when you fire a query you just say uh, f5 in uh, told or f9 so this is the same thing that you do so I'm firing this response here and then I'm getting this is just the exception handling and then I'm getting the response and because the response is an array so what I'm doing is this get records is nothing but it's uh, fetching an array as you can see here array list so what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, running it through a loop and then I am uh, I am fetching the output that's what I'm doing so this is a very simple basic uh, get API so that's that is used to uh, read data from Informatica MDM hub and now let's see how we can execute this so to do that just save it once and then just go here and say execute now let's see what is the error and or the response that we are getting so no package found with uh, package name pkg party labs put and all that so the thing is I'm trying to invoke the get API but I don't have any package here so you can see there is no package here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go create a package now so let me go here and then create a package let's go and create a package uh, package some package is already there otherwise we can also use this pkg underscore party so let's say pkg underscore party let me give this yeah let me give this and save it and let me execute it let's see what happens uh, yeah, so I have one customer name here. The name is Amit Mishra. His consultation indicator is null and his status is active. Actually, his consultation indicator is not null. His consultation indicator is 4. But the reason why this is showing it as null is I am, uh, this is actually a string value. Uh, sorry, it's actually a numerical value and I'm reading it as a string. So I, I have to change this. Once I, ch once I do that, then it will show a valid value here. And the status is active so you can customize anything I mean for example let's say uh, name consultation indicator status and let's say instead of that I'll say create date or let's say I'll let me introduce a new column here let's say create date if I remember the column name let's say creator I think that's the creator and uh, I'll just say plus creator and let me execute now okay the creator you can see it is admin 
So you understand right, this program, how this is working. So this is simple Java program. What it is doing is it is going to Informatic MDM hub, doing certain things that is it is uh, going to this party package and then based on this uh, row ID object, that is this row ID object, it is fetching me the records and I'm iterating this uh, and putting this in a while loop and literally I can do anything. So normally this is how you implement the code in Java and let's say if you want to use this for real-time integration uh, if you want to use this logic in uh, let's say in a JavaScript or in a web browser or so or in any other logic what you would have to do is you just need to embed this piece of code in the JavaScript or you can do you can you can use literally anything like if you're using Siebel analytics or in anything you can embed this this is that's how you can do it so basically it's a simple Java program that's uh, you can run it anywhere all you need to do is the only difference is you can see here I'm just directly passing the value here the one the value I'm directly passing it here normally you will not pass this value directly you'll pass it directly to the program not you will not hard code this value here rather you will pass it directly to the program so that's how you are going to do it that's the only difference uh, and apart from that this is how you implement Informatica MDMs uh, get SIF API in real time okay I hope that's it so if you want to check out this uh, SOAP API then you can check the earlier class okay thank you guys thank you very much for uh, your patience okay so just check out the other video thank you very much bye